Hello, this is Anatole, and I'm here with my two-minute review of Narcos Mexico Season 1, Episode 1, Camelot. The first episode began with a bang, and we got a chase of one of the bad guys being chased by the police, and it was quite interesting. I found myself rooting for the police to win, even though, you know, normally they present the bad guys in such a way that you almost root for them. So uh, the first scene, the first sequence was quite exciting, great way to begin the show. For the cops, the main character of Kiki Camarena is played by Michael Pena, and he looked like a hothead who was just itching to move forward in the organization and willing to break rules if he had to. And there's a scene kind of near the end of the first episode where he is taken into a bar where all the police, the active police, are on duty, and he's shown the lay of the land. And we as the viewers know almost immediately that the status quo is not, is not going to last, that the first thing Michael, uh, that Kiki Cameroon wants to do is kind of rough, uh, mess up the status quo. And there was a very great performance by Tena Huerta, who played Rafael Cant Cantera. Cantero. He kind of had a world weary but also droll performance and the other two villains such as they are played by Diego Luna who plays Miguel Gallardo and oh wait no I'm sorry so the old guy the the world, world weary guy is Joaquin Joaquin Cezio, he plays Ernesto Carrito and so the other two characters of Miguel Gallardo and Rafael Cantero Hero are played by Diego Luna, Diego Luna and Tenac Huerta, and I thought they both did a fine performance. And Diego Luna has a very quiet way, reminiscent of the performance we got in the first two seasons in Narcos of the main villain there. So it left me overall very excited to see where the show is going to go, and I hope that you will join me again soon when I do a two-minute review of episode two. That's all for now. Take care and be well.